Okay, Vedic math, algebraic multiplication. <clears throat> we're going to be multiplying binomials, and we're going to multiply these binomials using the Vedic method vertically and crosswise. Okay, here's a visual pattern of vertically and crosswise. So here's the first step, step number one, step number two, and step number three. It's pretty easy. What you do is, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of rewrite these as such. Okay, so you're looking at them from top to bottom. And what this vertically and crosswise represents is each one of these dots, okay, each one of these dots are one of these terms. So you can see that this X, that's the top left, top left dot on our pattern. Okay, this top right dot on our pattern, that's this term here. So this is a, these, this is a visual representation of our operation here. The first step, what we want to do is go straight down the left-hand side. So here's step number one. That means we're going to multiply x times x. Okay, step number one, x times x. That gives us x squared. So we go ahead and write that in, x squared. Okay, our second step, step number two, is crosswise. So what that means over here is we're going to multiply x times 4 and then add the product of 5 and x, which means multiplication. So step number 2, we have 4x plus 5x. Okay, we simply got those by multiplying 4 times x. 4 times x gives us 4x. And then 5 times x gives us 5x. So 4x plus 5x, that equals 9x. So then we just go ahead and write that in, 9x. Okay, step number three. Step number three, you can see, is just this right-hand side. So that's going to be this 5 times 4, 5 times 4. So 5 times 4 gives us 20. So there's our answer, x squared plus 9x plus 20. Okay, x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. First we're going to put it like this, x plus 2 and 2x plus 3. We're multiplying these together. So step number one, we start at the left-hand side. I'm going to say that's going to be x times 2x, or 2x times x. 2x times x gives us 2x squared. So there's our first term in our answer, 2x squared. Okay, step number two, we're going to do our crosswise, crosswise pattern. So that's going to be x times 3 plus 2 times 2x. So x times 3, that gives us 3x. And remember, we're going to add 3x plus 2 times 2x. That gives us 4x. Okay, 3x plus 4x gives us 7x. So our middle term, we're going to say, is plus 7x. Finally, our last term, we're going to multiply straight down the right-hand side. So that's 2 times 3. 2 times 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. So plus 6. So there's our answer, 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. All right, 5x minus 2 times x plus 3. First thing we're going to do is line them up vertically, so 5x minus 2, we're multiplying that by x plus 3. Okay, step number one is our 
vertical 5x times x. So we have step number one, 5x times x. That gives us 5x squared. So our first term is 5x squared. Step number two, we're going to do crosswise. 5x times 3 plus negative 2 times x. So we have 5x times 3. 5x times 3, that gives us 15x. Plus, we have negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times x gives us negative 2x. So 15x plus negative 2x is the same as saying 15x minus 2x. That's going to give us 13x. So our middle term, we have positive 13x. And then our last step, number three, is going to be the multiplication of these two terms, negative 2 times 3. We have negative 2 times 3. That equals negative 6. So our last term is negative 6. So our answer, we get 5x squared plus 13x minus 6. Okay, next problem, 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 10. First, we want to set this up. Vertically, so here's our 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 10. Okay, step number 1 is this vertical 2x times 2x. Remember, step number 1 is down the left side here. So that's going to be 2x times 2x. So 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. So our first term, we have 4x squared. Step number two, we're going to do crosswise. 2x times 10 plus 1 times 2x. So we have 2x times 10. 2x times 10, that gives us 20x. Plus 1 times 2x gives us 2x. So 20x plus 2x. That gives us 22x. So we know our middle term now is positive 22x. Step number three, we multiply down the right-hand side. 1 times 10. Okay, 1 times 10. That equals 10. So we get our answer as 4x squared plus 22x plus 10. All right, x plus 3y times 5x plus 7y. First thing, we're going to set this up vertically. So x plus 3y times 5x plus 7y. Okay, step number one, just straight down the left side. So that's x times 5x, x times 5x. So x times 5x gives us 5x squared. Okay, that's our first term for our answer, 5x squared. Step number two, we're going to do a crosswise. So that means x times 7y plus 5x times 3y. So x times 7y, x times 7y gives us 7xy. Okay, plus 3y times 5x. 3y times 5x gives us 15xy. Okay, 7xy plus 15xy. 7 plus 15 gives us 22, so we have 22xy. That's going to be our second term in our answer. So we have plus 22xy. And step number three, the last step, we're going to go straight down the right-hand side. 
So 3y times 7y. So we have 3y times 7y. That gives us 21y squared. So there's our third term in our answer, 21y squared. So our answer is 5x squared plus 22xy plus 21y squared. Next problem, x minus y times x minus 4y. So we want to set this up vertically, so we have x minus y, multiplying that by x minus 4y. Step number one, straight down the left-hand side, x times x. So we say x times x gives us x squared. x squared is the first term in our answer, x squared. Okay, step number two, we have our crosswise. Okay, that's going to be x times negative 4. Remember, these, this term 4y is connected. This, is, this isn't just 4y. This is negative 4y. Negative 4y. You have to include the sign. So x times negative 4y. x times negative 4y gives us negative 4xy. Okay, then we're going to add negative y. Remember, this is the this goes along with the term negative y times positive x. If you don't see anything, if you don't see a sign out in front, that means it's positive. So negative y times x gives us negative xy. Okay, negative 4xy plus negative xy. That's the same as saying negative 4xy minus xy. So negative 4, negative 4 apples minus 1 apple. <laughs> negative 4 minus 1, that gives us negative 5xy. So that's our middle term, negative 5xy. And finally, for our third term in the answer, we're going to go down the right-hand side, another vertical. So that's going to be negative y times negative 4y. So negative y times negative 4y. That's going to give us a positive 4y squared. Because a, multi a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So we have our third, third answer, third term in our answer is 4y squared. So here's our answer, x squared minus 5xy plus 4y squared. Okay, 4x plus 3y times 4x minus 3y. Let's set this up vertically. So we have 4x plus 3y times... 4x minus 3y. Okay, step number one, once again, is going to be straight down this left-hand side. So 4x times 4x. 4x times 4x. That gives us 16x squared. So there's the first term in our answer, 14, or excuse me, 16x squared. Okay, second step, 4x times negative 3y plus 3y times 4x. So 4x times negative 3y, that gives us negative 12xy plus 3y times 4x. 3y times 4x gives us a positive 12xy. So negative 12xy plus 12xy gives us 0xy. So you could either write that in as plus 0xy, or you can just leave it as nothing. Um, you go ahead and write this in, 0xy. That's perfectly fine. And then... Our last step, we're going straight down the right-hand side. So we have positive 3y times a negative 3y. Okay, is our vertical step. 
So we have 3y times negative 3y. That's going to give us a negative 9y squared. So that's the last term in our answer. So we get our answer is 16x squared minus 9y squared. Okay, this middle term, this 0, 0x, zero y, you don't have to include that in the answer. Okay, because 0 times anything is 0, so basically this term cancels itself out. Okay, it's self-canceling. It cancels itself out. So here we have our answer is 16x squared minus 9y squared. Okay, last problem for the Vedic math vertically and crosswise for algebra. Last problem here, we're going to set this up vertically. So we have 4x plus 3 times 2x minus 5. Okay, first step down the left side. So we have 4x times 2x. That gives us 8x squared. 8x squared. Second step, we're going to multiply 4x times negative 5. Remember to include the sign when you're doing your crosswise. Include the sign. So 4x times negative 5. 4x times negative 5, that gives us negative 20x. Plus 3 times 2x. 3 times 2x gives us 6x. So negative 20x plus 6x gives us negative 14x. So negative 14x. And then the last term in our answer, we multiply straight down the side. So we have 3 times negative 5. That gives us negative 15. So here's our answer, 8x squared minus 14x minus 15. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.